In this demo, we present DACO, the first tool to generate efficient parallel code for compound tensor algebra expressions, where the tensors are stored in dense, sparse, and mixed formats. Tensor algebra generalizes linear algebra to any numbers of dimensions and is used in data analytics, machine learning, chemistry, and physics. Many applications in these domains deal with large and sparse datasets. For example, a tensor of Amazon product reviews from the literature had 15 quintillion components, of which only 1 in 10 billion is non-zero. It's hard to work with sparse datasets. This is because it is hard to write code to compute with sparse data structures and because of the large numbers of kernels. Take a sparse matrix vector multiplication, the most commonly used sparse linear algebra operation. There are many variations of SPMB suit to different applications. If we want all of them for different sparse matrix formats like CSR, DCSC, DIA, coordinate, and blocked, taking into account the sparsity of the vector and supporting different architectures, then we have to develop a lot of kernels. And since the number of tensor algebra expression is unbounded, we need a tensor algebra kernel generator like TACO. The TACO tool suite includes a web tool that lets users generate custom tensor algebra kernels without installing anything beforehand. Here, we have defined a simple computation in the TACO web tool that multiplies a dense matrix by a dense vector. With the click of a button, TACO generates imperative code that performs this computation. In addition to pseudocode, TACO also generates a custom C header file that users can download and include directly in their scientific, analytics, or machine learning application. Users can freely specify the formats used to store the inputs and output of their computation, and the TACO web tool generates code that works with those formats. Let's tell TACO to generate a matrix vector multiplication kernel that takes a column measure matrix as input by reordering the dimensions in the format specification. We can also tell TACO to generate code that takes a sparse CSC matrix as input or, in a similar fashion, a sparse DCSM matrix as input. Computations can be any tensor expression and can have any number of dense or sparse operands. TACO can even generate kernels that compute compound operations involving higher order sparse tensors such as the matricized tensor times Katri-Rao product. The TACO tool suite also contains a command line tool that works in a similar fashion. Here, we have defined a computation that multiplies an order three tensor by a vector and stores the result in an order two tensor. The command line tool assumes by default that all inputs and outputs are dense. But like the web tool, we can specify that A and B should be sparse. We tell TACO to output executable C code that computes the kernel we've defined. The common line tool also makes it easy to benchmark the performance of the tensor times vector kernel. For the inputs, we can tell TACO to generate a random dense vector and load a real-world tensor from a file that contains a list of its non-zero elements. We can also tell TACO to run benchmark multiple times and the command line tool will report the average execution time of the compute kernel. The command line tool can also be useful for instrumenting TACO generated code. Let's say we want to know how many floating point multiplies our tensor time vector kernel execute for a given set of inputs. We can do this by modifying the TACO generated C code to add a counter that increments after each floating point multiply. Then, we just tell TACO to benchmark with the modify kernel. And there we have our answer. We can also use this feature to benchmark custom and written kernels against TACO, which lets us use TACO as a starting point for further optimization work. The TACO tool suite, including the command line tool and the C library it is built on top of, is available under the permissive MIT license at tensor compiler.org. The web page also contains documentation and examples for how to use the TACO C++ library directly.